Hey guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we're gonna introduce the array to you guys. So that's A R R A Y, all right? And uh, the array is a little bit different. It basically holds a multitude of different values. And uh, the nice thing about it is it's ordered. So it's gonna have a bunch of different values in it and we can call that data. So instead of using variables for everything and establishing you know hundreds of different variables, we can have an array that holds hundreds of different values and all that stuff. So besides that, let's just go ahead and jump into it so we can look at how this actually works. So we're going to establish our Jedi rank array. And we're going to assign it the data type of an integer. So we're going to be pulling values out of it. And we're going to... What was that? You guys hear that? All right, there we go. There we go. All right, and so we're, what we're going to do is we're going to have some square brackets after our array name here. And in between the square brackets, what we're going to do is we're going to put a value in here that shows how many different values or how much memory we're going to allocate to this array. So in this case, we'll just put six and we'll end our array statement there. So basically, our array name is Jedi rank and it has six values that are going to be assigned to this array. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to assign values to each of the different array positions. So then we can call those later in our program. So we're gonna we're gonna call our array name, and then we're gonna put some square brackets. And now here's the difference: we you would think that we would put one, and then go one, two, three, four, five, six. However, arrays think a little bit different, and they start at zeros because computers love zeros, and they love to stay at zero to, to start. So the Jedi rank is gonna start at zero, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna assign a value to it. So let's just say 13 in this case. And then we can go down the rank, or we can go down the, uh, the array ordered set here and assign it to the different positions. So now we've got one, let me move my mouse so you guys can see, and we'll put 45 there, so on and so forth. And we've got two, and we'll assign like uh, 65, uh, that, that'll work. All right, so we could go all the way down now essentially our array goes down to the value the fifth position because we have six total values that we're storing so we've got one two three three would be four four would be five and five would be six all right so you guys understand that we're not going to actually establish them just so we can move on to the next part of this tutorial but we are going to display them on screen so you guys can see what's up and before I do that, I've already screwed something up. It looks like, ah, oh, there we go. All right, so we're gonna take that and display our array on screen, all right? And so now here's where we can call whatever position we'd like. So in this case, we'll call the second position. And let's go ahead and run this out. So we see we've got 65 coming out of the second position. We can, we can again change this out, call our, uh, our array, and we get 45 as the assigned value. All right, so that's uh, that's pretty cool so far. But let's go ahead and delete this because we can actually simplify it, so you guys don't have to actually assign the values this way. What we can do is put an equals to sign here, put a curly brace, and now we can assign our values. All right, so your value is going to be separated by a comma. You can move on to the next one, move on to the next one, move on to the next one move on to the next one and move on to the next one I think that's six values uh, so we got one two three four five six so we got position zero position one two three four wait zero one two three four and five all right a total of six values that our array holds all right so then again we can go down here and say let's call the fifth position all right, so the fifth position is obviously going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it should pull 58. So let's go ahead and run that, and you see that we get 58. Boom, shaka, laka, laka, boom. And one other thing that we can do is we can actually take out the value here. So essentially, our array is saying, okay, allocate as much memory as you want. Just make sure that whatever the values are over here you allocate that amount of memory for us so we could literally just put a ton of data in here <clears throat> alright then we could call this 
let's say the eighth value, so we got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we should get 256. We can go ahead and run that, and you see we get 256. So there's a few different ways to set this up. As you can see, this is kind of an introduction to the arrays, different ways that we can work with it. And now we're going to take it to the next level in the next tutorial as far as how to actually use arrays in you guys' programs to accomplish some pretty sweet stuff. So we'll catch you guys in the next tutorial.